Sheila Jackson Lee passed away. Rest in peace. She lost her battle with cancer. Sheila Jackson Lee. Am I tripping? Hold on. Let me read. Let me read something real quick, y'all. I, I, let me let me see something real quick, man. Give me a second, y'all. Hold on. Okay, okay. Yeah, this says four minutes ago. Wow. Let's let's go ahead and read real quick. Y'all wanna y'all wanna pull it up? Let me pull it up real quick. Let's let's show them some respect. Matter of fact, I know why. I was she just got a whole bunch of money for um for people in Texas. She just got a lot of money from the government for her constituents. In Texas, I've just shared that on Twitter. Shout out to her, man. OG, OG legend. Let me let me read let me read what it says here. Sheila Jackson Lee, long-serving Democratic Congresswoman and advocate for Black Americans, dies at 74. Legend, legend. Let's keep scrolling. Sheila Jackson Lee, a longtime Democratic Congressional Congresswoman from Texas who has outspoken advocate for black Americans for decades, has died, according to statement from her office. She was 74. Then that's all they have. Let me uh, let me read something that I just I just retweeted this like yesterday or two days ago. She just got a like one hundred million dollars for some, for Texas. For her for her voters, man. Let me let me I'm gonna put her face up on the screen while I read this because she's she's a serious person. She was really doing the, the work. Ah, my Twitter is messing up. Dang. Uh, let me see if I can find it on. Let me see something here. Oh. Give me a second, y'all. Let me pull this up because I just, I swear I just... I swear I just retweeted this. Here we go. She said, I am pleased to announce that 50... Now, literally, this is July 18th at 2.50 p.m. Now, I retweeted this. She just said, I am pleased to announce that $50 million has been awarded to the CUNY Homes Public Housing Development through HUD's Choice Neighborhood Program. The funding will provide critical resources to support and preserve our storied third ward neighborhood. She's talking about Houston, I think. Then, right after that, that's more than $100 in federal investment into the third ward in just a few months. $50 million for housing at CUNY Homes and $50 million for TSU students to study environmental justice. As always, I will never stop fighting for my constituents. Let's keep winning. I retweeted that. Look, oh. you see the you see the heart in the green retweet. Just yesterday, this was yesterday at <clears throat> yesterday at five thirty eight p.m. She tweeted it, so she was literally until her dying day, until her dying day, getting millions of dollars for her black constituents. Come on, man. You can you cannot knock this. You can't knock it. And I'm a, you you can't knock what this lady is doing. You can't knock anybody that has been doing that good of work and I'm talking about literally doing this type of work until she died. That was yesterday she announced that. Until she died for real. So uh, that's a Texas legend right there. That is a congressional legend right there. Shout out to any of our black caucus members, the congressional black caucus members that actually do things for the black people that they serve. OK, do not call yourself a congressional black anything if you're not doing anything for the black people that put you where you are. OK, that does not apply to Sheila Jackson Lee. OK. Um, R.I.P. to her. 